now then YouTube, I'm the Soft Man, and today uh, I am I'm joined by my cousin. Now then YouTube, you'll know him as the real Toff fan on uh, on my channel. Um, we we're going to do a little bit of pre pre kickoff kind of thing today. Um, it's not usually something that I do, but because it's England versus Italy, I thought you know why not? Why not? I've got my cousin over, a few beards. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. Um, and we thought we'd talk about what England are and what I think England are going to aspirate to uh, in this match. Which, to be honest, I don't think is going to be a fucking lot, to be quite honest. And let's be honest, I disagree. Well, we will soon see. I mean, I see England as um, a very defensive team. They're not even that good at defensive football. I don't know what you think. Roy Hodgson has them organised brilliantly. They're, they're solid. They're pretty solid. Um, you see numerous times when it comes up on the TV, the back four, the midfield, perfect lines. Everyone knows their role, everyone knows what they're doing, everyone knows where they are, who they're marking. That pretty could solid, be true. pretty hard to break down. That could be true, but I think that Ashley Cole, at the minute, just goes wondering too much on that left-hand side. I see him. In, in the middle of the park, I see him in defensive duties, as, it, as what he would be as, as a left back, but I see him in centre back positions where, and then Ashley, Ashley Young, sorry, is going to be dragged back into that left back role and he can't defend for shit. And then the ball comes in, Ashley Cole's there against big massive whoever it <laughs> big is. Big Nozimovic. Big Nozimovic against him. And how is he meant to win a header against someone like that? He's not a big left. He's not a big left back. But no. when do you ever see big, strong left backs? They're meant to be quick. Yeah, but that's what small. I mean. Why? They're meant to be able to get up outside the wingers. <laughs> but yeah, but why? This but is that's, my, that's this not is my point. Job. Yeah, but this is my point. Why does the left mid then come back into Ashley Cole's spot to cover that gap? Yeah, I, I see that. But why is there Ashley Cole in the middle of the park where he can't win balls? Because what you've got is you've got your winger runs down the side like this, yeah. goes like this, like and then your left back will come outside them, they'll play the ball in, they'll lose the ball, usually because it's England, <laughs> and then your left back, your left mid will come back until your left back gets back. Yeah, I just... Scores on the doors. This is what I'm going to go for. I am predicting an Italy win. 1-0, it's going to be really, really tight. I think it's going to be really, really tight. I think it may be 1-0. Maybe one all, it might push it to extra time, penalties kind of thing. England is shit at penalties. So, I mean, you've got to look at it this way, and I always look at it this way. England have done better this year than what they did in the last Euros. It's true. But I'm, I'm <laughs> picking it and never fucking qualified for the yeah, last Euros. Exactly. But I'm, I'm sticking for a England win on penalties. You heard it here first. Um, one all. Uh, one all full time, extra time, no goals, penalties, England win. I think. You heard it here first, YouTube. Blinders are on, fellas. Blinders are on. I can't see England winning this match, even if somehow they manage to make it through to the semi finals. They won't, we Germany won't get past are going to thrash us. Um, Germany are going to absolutely thrash us. If a team deserves to win the Euros, it is Germany, in my opinion. Spain, yes, they play possession football. It's been a but brilliant side. They, well, they, I was saying this, you, you didn't watch my last video because he was travelling at the side, but I was saying this, that Spain, when they set up with that, the back four and then six in midfield, right? you can quite clearly see that they're just looking to control the possession. They're not looking to score, but they're looking to control the game. Yeah, and, they have, fair enough, and they have the team chasing boring. them. They have the other team it's chasing them sport. until they tire out and then they destroy them. It's boring as hell. I watched I that game watching against Spain France. Play. I love watching Spain play. I watched that game and against France. And they dominated France. them. Well, well, the yeah, they did dominate them, but they only scored two goals. And why did they score that second? Because it was on the counter-attack when and France was, was trying to win. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It was on the counter-attack. France was, yeah, I don't even think it was a penalty. Looking back on it. I really did. First it was minimal I touch. It was, it was minimal, minimal was. amount of touches there. But Spain, they used to mesmerise me with their football. The absolute, yeah, the way that they passed the ball and moved it, got into the attacking positions, and 
scored goals. Well, I mean, the way they lined up yesterday amazing. was poor. They had no striker. And that's um, twice. That's twice. <laughs> that's twice. <laughs> That's twice in this tournament they've lined up without a striker, and I don't think that's the yeah, way yeah. to play football. Um, but I mean, like you say, they have four, four at the back, six in midfield practically. Um, when it comes to a point where you're playing Cesc Fabregas up front, um, you know shit's going to hit the fan. Um, but then again, I also said when you can take off Cesc Fabregas and bring on Torres, you've got a pretty solid side. Yeah, Torres, don't even go there with him. Don't even fucking go there. I rate Torres. The thing I rated Torres when he was at Liverpool, right? That's because we gave him games week in, week out. Chelsea haven't done that. I'd like to see what he does this season. Mm. I honestly would like to see. Now, now, now Drogas is gone. gone. Now, fucking Drogas. He was an amazing oh, guy. I love Drogas. For how He's old he Russia, was, he? and for how much he chucked himself about, I think he has gone, no. Is it some? I don't think to, it's I know, it went yet. to Shanghai something with an Elka. Mm, probably. Do correct us if we're wrong. Dosh. Dosh. Yeah, exactly. The but thing then is, again, he's getting to the end of his career. He wants the money behind him. Why not? Well yeah. played. Well, fair well played, fella. If he can fucking earn money, earn it. The thing is, the Drogas, even an aging Drogas, could still keep Torres out of the side. That is. How a great player well, that Drogas was. It's a point of seeing how it goes this season. I mean, if Chelsea I'd love to see how he does. As has been rumoured, but then again has been rumoured for the past like five or six years. Yeah. Um, if they sign Hulk. Well, he said he wanted to move, didn't he? Yeah. Hulk said, I want to move. I want to move. <laughs> I I want to move. Yeah. It's a Brazilian <laughs> accent. <laughs> I want to move. No, that's German, isn't it? Never mind. Anyway. Um, that's besides the point. I'd love to see what Torres does this season. Mm. I would love to see what he does this season and see if, it, if he managed to come out of his shell at. Uh, at Chelsea, because I don't think he has. I really don't think he's showed the best football he can possibly do. He's, he's got assists, and he's, he's good at setting up goals, and he's good at changing games. But it's just not for a striker, he's just not got the goals behind him at Chelsea. He yeah. just hasn't. And uh, But that's the thing, you give him the game say, time and he'll get the goals, but you don't give him the game time and he's just going to sit on the bench and he's not even exactly. able to score. Torres needs that run of games, um, just as Andy Bastard Carroll does. It is the run of games. <laughs> no matter how many games you give him, it's not going to get any better. <laughs> Probably not. But that's, that's, you know what I mean? Oh. I'm just, right. I'm going to finish this video off, right, with one word. With one word for this new, se this new season that's coming up. 